Guys, I hope what I'm hearing about Ghana is not true. Yesterday, the whole country was excited because Niger beat Sudan by four goals to zero. Now, those who did not even believe Ghana had a chance of qualifying are now believers. People are like, hey, black stars, there is hope, a picky, we can do it, we can do it. Only for us to wake up this morning, and then we heard that Ghana was scheming and conniving behind the scenes. Now, the example that was cited was that Ghana sent people or fans from Ghana here to Togo to go and support Niger. To me, I, I found nothing wrong with it. I mean, we need to play the dirty game to qualify for the AFCON. But then what shook me, what made me a, a bit afraid was that the Niger team, after beating Sudan, did not wait to celebrate. They took a plane fast. They are coming to Ghana. And I'm like, hey, if that is the case, that means that Niger themselves have hopes of qualifying to the AFCON. Do you know what we did? We prevented Sudan from qualifying for the AFCON as at that particular moment, but we created another competition for ourselves. Now, Niger, taking a look at the table, have hopes that they can qualify. In fact, it is anyone's game now. Ghana can qualify, Niger can qualify, even Sudan can also qualify. And today, Ghana plays against Angola. The pressure is on us. The pressure is on us to deliver because today, we can't accept anything other than winning that game. A draw or even losing that game, we are out. So we have to win. And that brings me to today's video. Today, we are doing predict and win. So please predict the correct score line down below in the comments. In the game between Ghana and Angola, if you predict correctly, the 100 Ghana CDs is yours. But please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And my name is Adam. If today is your first time, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notification weekly. Let's jump into it. I want us to talk about the possible lineup Otoado will use against Angola. If you take a look at the squad, a lot of new players, a lot of players that have not played for the Black Star before. Don't be surprised if you see the squad list and you see a lot of new names inside because I believe we have no choice. We still have to use some players to get the job done. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. And I'm going to use the formation 4-2-3-1. And I believe <laughs> it is the formation Otoado has used for a very long time. But then in case Otoado decides to go with the three-back system, the 3 5 2, we're also going to talk about the players that he could fill in against Angola. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it. In goal post for 4 2 3 one I'm going to go in for Lawrence Atizigi. You and I don't have to argue about Lawrence Atizigi, whether he's good or not. He's the one we have now. If you take a look at his performance for club level in the Europa Conference League, no one should tell you that the keeper has a lot to give. He's good at the saves and everything. But sometimes the defenders let him down so much that he consists a lot of books. So Lawrence Atizigi, to me, looking at the rest of the goalkeepers that have been called, he is that guy. He should start. He's going to start. When it comes to centre-back, that is where my problem is. Because, you see, we are used to seeing Alexander Jiku, the sunny shoes, the movements. I mean, they have performed very well for us. But none of them is in the squad now. So we have to rely on the new players that are in the squad. And in my own opinion, I believe that Nathaniel Eji should feature a centre-back today for Black Stars. Nathaniel Eje has played for the junior national team down at 23. He plays for FC Laurent in the French League 2. So if you follow this player and see how he plays, nobody should tell you that he's the right fit for this particular position in the game against Angola. Also, he should be paired with an experienced player in the Black Star squad. And the player I would go for to play a centre-back position today would be Ali Disiedu. Ali Disiedu, I believe, still can play a centre-back and can also be that anchor, that voice in the back line and telling everybody, please focus. Focus. We are playing because we want to qualify and we want to win. So I would pair Nathaniel AJ and also Ali Siedu. Now, when you go to the left back, Gideon Mesa, I'm going to wait to talk too much. You all know that he's the first choice player when it comes to that left back. Right back. Because Ali Siedu would be shifted to centre back and because there is no Tariq Lamte. Kisley Snowder, he has played, he has had some game minutes under his belt. So by now, he should know what to do in that particular position. So Kisley Snowder, for me, plays that right back position. In midfield, Ibrahim Suleimana, obviously, but to add of investing because of his aggressiveness playing in that number six position. So I'll go in for Ibrahim Suleimana. 
paired with Elisha Owusu, I don't see how Otoado will drop Elisha Owusu in this game. I would have preferred a proper number eight like forcing a manqua. But I believe Otoado will go in for Elisha Owusu because he does not want to concede. So he will end up playing a double pivot in today's game. In front of these two midfielders, Mohamed Kudus would be there, the star boy. <laughs> My own player. Uh, Kudus FC. Yeah, Jine. <laughs> Kudus is scoring today, so you for know that one. Yes, so Kudus is going to play in the midfield. Now, let's take a look at the forward. If you take a look at the Black Stars, the usual names when it comes to number nine, you know, get to the Semenyo, the Inaki, the Nodi. So I believe Jordan Ayu is going to play number nine. Center forward is Jordan Ayu, captain of the side. He's going to play center forward today. Right wing. Abdo Fata with Shahaku. Now, the reason why I would start to Shahaku in this game is not because of his form or anything. I believe that him playing alongside Jordan makes sense because at club level, there's a connection, there's some telepaths between these two players. They understand themselves and they can bring that to the Black Stars. So I'll play Abdo Fata with Shahaku at right wing. Left wing, MS Nyama. Complete, perfect, strongest starting lineup against Angola. I don't see a way where Ghana loses with the squad I've mentioned. Goalkeeper, Lawrence Atizigi, center backs, Nathaniel Leje, Ali Disiedu, right back, Kinsley Schneider, left back, Gideon Mensah, midfielders, Ibrahim Suleimana, Elisha Ousu, and also Kudus forwards, Jordan Ayu, Abdul Fatah Shahaku, and Ernest Nyama. Now, in the cases where Otto Ado wants to be more secure at the back line and wants to go for a three back system, I believe this would be the three defenders he would usually go with. Nathaniel Ejay, Ali Disiedu, as I've already you know, explained, and then Terry Yegbe. Terry Yegbe plays for Ellsbrook. For those who don't know Terry Yegbe, he was part of the Ghana under 23 team that played in the under 23 half court in Morocco. So this is a player that has a connection and relationship with Nathaniel Ejay. So it's not like you are forming anything too new or if you just want to play a three-back system, you are not forming anything too new when it comes to the center box you want to play in that particular position. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Which player do you think I mean should be starting and all those things? Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. I would have loved to have Michael Bidu starting a game ahead of one of the midfielders so that we can have someone who can also play as a number eight and probably as a number 10 or probably play two number tens kudus and also michael bid i mean there could be a, a different ways we can go about it and still get a quality squad that is based on my opinion but then let me know yours down below in the comments now let's go to the permutations and the mathematics of all these things that is causing headaches to Ghanaians. <laughs> you see here ghana we could we could kill our hopes today if we draw we could kill our hopes today if we lose that game. The only way to keep that hope alive is winning and winning five points in that group. That is the only way. Now, our hopes shouldn't be too high because even a draw for Sudan, they are good to go. That is the problem. A draw for Sudan, they are, they are good to go. Even the Niger team that we feel like they are the, you know, Afghan be in the team, or in the in the group beat sudan there's a possibility they can also beat us because they, they have nothing to lose Ghana has a lot to lose and sudan and uh, niger they have nothing to lose if they don't qualify uh, for them that's what people don't get if niger don't qualify it's not that one said they are used to it if sudan do not qualify they are used to it ghana if we don't qualify aabb papa it's not an aabb because we have always been going how come that this time around we are not going? AABB Papa. It is very important. But then I'm practicing that question again. And this question, I'll ask it until we, we either qualify or not. What happens if we qualify for the AFCON? The eight players who excuse themselves for the Black Stars, will they have a spot in the Black Star team for the AFCON? My question. Because I don't see how somebody will come and do Yakubu job and play qualifiers for a day for Ghana to qualify so that that person will be dropped in a tournament for someone who did not play to come and play for the tournament. I don't see how that, that makes sense. I'm keeping this question in case Ghana qualifies. If we don't qualify, then we rubbish the question. But this question, 
Let's hang it somewhere. I want to see somebody like Joseph Pencil. Me, please me who say you're going to fire him. Who can't say he the one company show? Somebody like Simon, no, said I will not. Simon, no, you did not see any time that you go and do your inch. This time that you want to go and do inch. And yes, sir. Fine, fine. We understand. Fine, fine, fine. But guys, this is why I end today's video. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comments. Today, I believe Ghana is going to win. Two goes to one. Based on my opinion, let me know yours down below in the comments. I'll be sure to see you in the next one. Charlie, we go vibe.